Hey y'all, welcome back to Kern Designs. I'm Hannah, and today we're gonna to be talking about Drupal. Now, Drupal is a content management system, and I don't know if you've ever done any sort of diagramming for databases, but Drupal is really good at bringing that stuff to life, hosting it in a website. Um, so before the video started, I had a chance to set up a Drupal website for um, a university so that they could input their like classes, faculty members, um, the rooms classes are taught in and stuff like that into this database website, similar to like a line path for Penn State students. So um, I'm gonna get started and show you guys how I did what I did um, and how you guys can do it and create your own Drupal site. Um, so here I have Drupal running on my Reclaim hosting um, and I just follow this link um, and it's going to take me to my website. Um, so as you can see, it knows that I'm the admin already. Um, so I'm just going to hit this content page. Um, and this is where I would be able to add more content in case I wanted to add another room, course, or professor. Um, so right now, I'm just going to add content. Um, and I'm going to add just another course um, offered by the university. Um, um, and I'm just going to input all of the information right now. So right now I'm inputting like an IST course. Um, let's say it's um, 256. Um, and I'll just give it a random faculty ID um, with nine digits. And then I'm going to write in my course number, which is 256. And then the description would just be like, learn about, um, in this class, we talked about HTML, CSS, and Java. Oops. Awesome. Um, and then I'm just going to say it's the subject is IST. And if I preview that, I can show what it's going to look like on this Drupal site. Um, and then if I go back to my content editing, after I've previewed it, I can actually save it. Um, so now that I've showed you how to create content, um, as you can see, I had it set up so I could just add a course in randomly. Um, but in order to set that up, you're going to want to go into structure. And this structure tab is going to have all of your different um, types of forms and content types that you can add. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to go to this content content, I'm sorry, types. Um, and as you can see, I have my course, faculty, and room. And when I was going through and adding that extra course, you could see those options. So we're going to add another option, and we'll just call it like student. Um, uh, whoops, let me type this right. Um, and the description is just going to be um, a student at Penn State, right? Okay. Um, bah, sorry, get back. Okay, cool. Um, and my title field is just going to be, let's say, student ID, because um, that's really important. So now that I have my student as a type, then now I can add in my fields. Um, so the body field I don't really want, so I can just delete that. Um, delete that right there. Um, and I'll add another field, and we'll add the field to be, um, what about first name? So we're going to choose plain text, and we're going to name call it first name. Um, why don't we do full name so we only have to import one? Awesome. Um, so now you can see I have saved my field settings. I've saved my field. And if I went back into content, um, and I wanted to add content, I could add a whole nother student. See, and now that shows up as a form that I can fill out. Um, and I put their student ID and a full name. And there you go. So as you can see, guys, Drupal is really um, nice for creating different forms that you can fill out and add stuff to a database. So that's why Drupal is kind of like this content management system. It's really good at um, holding your database. Um, so good luck, guys. Keep coding, and I'll see you next time.